Douglas, Long Island. Hi, Douglas. So I have an, an HP Pavilion Slimline Media System. It's an old, old doorstop. And it has the Intel Core Solo 1 t oh, oh, it is yeah. old. All right, yep. Yeah, and I'm looking to do something with it. I'm looking to put some type of maybe Linux system or... Yeah. Uh, I know there's Mint, you've been to, there's all different types. Well, of, you know... You get all different types of suggestions. It's such a small... You know, small I am a huge stuff. fan of Linux, by the way. Free operating system. You know, look, we, we're just talking about usability. Given that Windows and Macintosh are not particularly usable... Why not use an operating system that's free? It's no more usable. I mean, and certainly people's complaint about Linux is, oh, it's so complicated, hard to use. It isn't any worse than Windows or Mac, but it's no better either. I grant you that. But if you're going to learn a general purpose operating system, I think Linux is a very good choice. Now, it's a different set of applications. You can't get Microsoft Office on there. Well, you can with some support, but it's not, a, it's not an easy thing to do. But they have a huge range of applications. I'm a big fan. Uh, now, the other nice thing about Linux, it was created in the early 90s by a graduate student, Linus Torvalds, in Finland. Mm -hmm. He kept the trademark, he kept the name. He said, nobody else can make a Linux without my approval. But he open-sourced, he gave away the code, which means there's a lot of different groups, some companies, some communities, that are building Linux operating systems. So there's hundreds to choose from. You can go to DistroWatch. D-I-S-T-R-O, that's what they call these distros or distributions of Linux. Distrowatch.org and see the most popular ones, see a list. But you have a special need, and this is often the case with Linux. You need Linux that will run on old hardware, slow hardware. You probably don't have a lot of RAM. You no, only a gig. Yeah, so you don't have a lot of storage. You have a slow processor. Mo most of the more popular modern Linux, as you mentioned, Mint, uh, Ubuntu, are designed for modern machines because... Well, they don't want to make an operating system that's, you know, underpowered if you're going to be using a modern machine. So you're going to be looking for a, a distribution that's designed for older hardware. And there are lots of them. If you go to distrowatch.org, you can actually find that. You can, you can find a distro. I would take a look. There is an Ubuntu variant. Uh, Ubuntu is, it was created by um, a company called Canonical, which is funded by a Dot com millionaire named Mark Shuttlesworth, Shuttleworth, who is re they've really done a very accessible version of Linux, but the main Ubuntu is is not going to run on your machine, but they have lower requirement Ubuntu's. Probably you should take a look at X Ubuntu. It's okay. X U B U N T U X Ubuntu dot org. Uh, that's designed okay. for older machines, less RAM. Okay. Um, there are. A lot of other ones that I'm not familiar with. Uh, that's why I'm going to say, say, look at DistroWatch. Because I generally use the Linuxes on modern machines. So I use more powerful Linuxes like Ubuntu. My favorite, my favorite version of Linux is, uh, I recommend most people, is Debian. Pro it might work. There might be a version of Debian for slower machines like yours. The reason I like Debian is, unlike Canonical, which is a private company... Debian is run by a community. And I just like the idea of using an operating system created by a community of like-minded individuals. It's, maybe I'm, it's the hippie in me. No, I understand. Absolutely. <laughs> but, that, but for that reason, it's better privacy, right? Uh, they certainly focus on security. Um, I'm currently using a, a distribution called Antergos, A-N-T-E-R-G-O-S, on most of my machines. This is based on the Arch distribution with a very nice, easy installer. To simplify that, and I'm very—that's right. what I'm using right now on the machine that's in front of me. Arch, um, Arch. Uh, but Arch is for Linux pros. Arch, Arch is hard to install. So look at Antergos, which is a simplified installer. A N T E R G O S. Okay. Really, my current favorite. But that works on all modern hardware. And one of the reasons I like it is I can take a laptop like the HP Spectre. 13T, which is a brand new, beautiful laptop that it's hard to run Linux on because it's got all this new stuff and, and Antergos runs beautifully on it. I think for you, Exobuntu is going to be a good choice.